definitely the first of these type of videos for me. 6.05 or something like that in the morning. Wrecked. Yeah, uh, awake all night. Excitement though. Cannot wait to get going for today. And uh, hopefully it's worth getting up early. It'll try this. Just about to start off. Packed essentially everything I have. I think everything I could think of. And then more stuff that I don't need. That I'm guaranteed I don't need. But sure look. Going skate fishing today, all the way down to Union Hall in County Cork. About two hours and ten minutes from me, so better get going. That's it, guys. The unbelievable green pier down there in the distance. Tom has just pulled up with the boat, and it's looking unbelievable. So we had some great fishing over the reefs and we ended up getting two acolies that were this size. So I'm just going to show you now the bait that I was using for the skate. It's um, a, a flapper is what they call it. Essentially what you're doing is doing a fillet but leaving it attached at the head and at the same on the other side. Then removing the spine and the tail from it so that it flaps in the water when it's, when it's lower down and it moves in the tide. A little known fact that coalies and ling are really top baits for skate. Now it's Evan, the, the, Tom's young fella who was on the boat with us, he recommended the coalie because that's his favourite bait. So really top marks for him for recommending that. So this is how we, uh, this is how I prepare it. Now I shouldn't have gutted the cod before I using the knife for that because uh, I had it fairly blunt at that stage. But this is the finished product here. So you see all the blood, the guts are still there, and the flapper. Now the trick is here, Tom's advice was to put it through the bottom of the chin and out through the top, and to make sure you leave the, uh, left a lot of the, the point exposed. Uh, I'd show it off a bit better here, except uh, someone wasn't great with the old camera angle. So you'll notice I'm dropping it down really slowly here. The tricky, this is a good trick so that you don't get your bait tangled up around your main line. How's that? You bought that? No, sure, why would I do things like that? I'd say it needs to be tightened a bit anyway. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to release it a bit. Thomas, yeah. Oh, you try that there now. Now that right there is what you're paying for. You get a, an experienced skipper, he lets you there with your drag too loose yeah. and you end up spending ages try, trying to play a fish and it's a, impossible to get anywhere. Tom spotted the problem, Test simple, right rectified it and all of a sudden I've got a great opportunity to get some line on the reel and make a good fight of this. I have to say, before you start skipping, a massive thanks to Evan, who was the young fella, 11 years of age, talk about an angler in the making, um, really knows his stuff, and a sound little guy, and Tom as well, down in South um, uh, West Cork, is Lock on Eosk is the name of the boat, uh, Sea Angling Charters, and you're just not going to regret getting uh, a day out with them. Watch the end of the video, oh, oh, it's just unbelievable. Oh, don't make a show of me now, you down there. No! Oh no, it's off. Are you stuck? Ah. Oh. Get a fresh bait, oh quick. Might get another one. Now we thought there for a second that Evan had a second skate on, but what it was is he had a fish on and it wasn't a skate though, maybe a conger or a big hoss had grabbed onto his bait but hadn't actually got the hook in his mouth. 
kind of that possible keeper line going in there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think it's going to go anywhere else now at this point. It's when you get those incredibly powerful dives that your hands start to really hurt. Left arm, the agony. You see, I keep changing arms to shake out the left hand. That's to stop the lactic acid building up, is my plan. But uh, I won't lie, it wasn't working. Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just about how I remember the last time. Better, better off for the job. Fifty nine ninety nine. Short and take does the trick. Pressure here at this stage. Arms are aching, but look at this on the right hand side of the screen. Just there, no idea what that was. Never saw it on the day, but uh, saw it during the editing. I hasn't even seen the boat yet. Not getting the memo top. Problem is, the skate's coming up in the tide, but we don't want to go that way. Else, the line rub off the boat. If that's the case, I'll have to bring it around, fight it from the other side. Just keep an eye on it there. Alright, we're going to send that way. But I'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> Watching this back now, I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but essentially he makes these noises for the whole movie in his tale of revenge. So <laughs> that's what I feel. That's what I feel like now. Give it to you, is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's all very tight now. Man. Sweating quite badly, so Rod has to go around the bow, under the anchor rope, and back. This is the spare rod. <laughs> if it's stuck in something. So again, press side on pressure so the line doesn't touch the boat. Right. If you can, keep your rod pointed towards the land.
that was the six that was the 69 euro ride started <laughs> Now it's a real stand up ride. I'm going to buy off the anchor and we're going to come away from the anchor rope. Right. I have to start with the engine there. There's that risk of uh, well, the anchor rope. Oh, he didn't like that. Some power. Oh no, that's bad. Buy cheap fucking gear. <laughs> now that's the fucking uh, reel there. <laughs> the reel came off the ride. The what? The reel fell off the ride and everything. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Can I do it in there for I tightened it up again down though. Oh man, I'm sweating now.
They're really pretty. Is that okay? Should be alright. Look at me now. I tell them I'm absolutely sighting. What a fight. So we've had to move the anchor, cut it off, attach a buoy, because the fish was going wind against tide and it was getting stuck into it and it was going to get into the anchor rope or worse, rub along the hull. So as you can see, my uh, Shimano ride has become a two piece, even though it wasn't originally meant to be. You can see the fish in the water now. It looks like a good skate. Right, so Chris, can I hold on to the lead? Alright, keep a hold of your rod just in case. Once I've got it, then we can. Yeah. Best one, Chris. Okay, done all already. So we get a bit of information off of that. Right, Hi, Chris. If you can hold up the snout. Yeah. I'll get that up removed. Well, I'll just put the. Yeah, you can put that down anywhere. I'll grab that one off your head, Darren. Be a fish of a lifetime. Oh man. This is the part now when you've got to do really quick. Hook out, out of the way. You can see here now. Right there. I put it down. How do you hold them up? Right. So we get the measure mat under the wing, Chris. Yeah. Uh, take it out. Move our stuff out of the way. get this guy off me so we can bend down as you can see an amazing fish fully worth the ride going keep putting water over it is the trick then keeps the gills in action so you put your up your plate yeah Let's just, just fold it over there now. Come on there, Chris, I got a picture in the mat. Oh, we're sweating. What a fish. I got to see my good friend Eugene Farley get one a few years ago around this size. Fortunately, I lost one the same day, but today, different story. See the tag there, even getting a picture of that. Slightly. Yeah. What an unbelievable fish. At this point, I'm sweating, wow. I'm roasting, and I'm delighted. Never going to forget this day, even now my hands are sweating thinking about it. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, yeah. 